welcome to my vegan kitchen so today i have another really delicious meal for you guys today we're going to use walnuts we're going to use walnuts as a substitute for beef so we're making walnut meat i'm going to make a cheesy walnut meat macaroni stick around guys this is going to be good it's so easy and you're going to love it so we're going to start first with our boiling water. I have a nice big pot of salted boiling water right here. And this is where we're going to cook our macaroni. All right. So I have some elbows pasta. I think I may just measure for this. I got a little prepared this time. This time I decided to prep work everything so it was easier for you guys to follow and understand the measurements. All right. So I have a cup here. I'm going to use, let's see, one, two, let's do three cups. Three cups of macaroni. All right. Let me stir just to make sure that our macaroni don't stick and leave that to cook for about eight to ten minutes. So we're gonna check back on that, but I wanted to get that started because that takes the longest to cook. All right, let's get that ready. All right, let's zip over here. Over on this side, we have our walnuts. So I love to use walnut as a meat substitute. There's two ways you could do it. I'm gonna pop this right into the food processor um, because I'm gonna put it in sauce and sauce is gonna help to you know, soften it a little bit. But another thing that you can do, this is great if you're on like a raw vegan diet or you just wanna have something raw and you don't really wanna cook um, your meal, you can soak your walnuts overnight. It will soften the walnut. And then you could just put it in a food processor with your seasonings like salt, um, black pepper, onions, garlic, whatever you want, and it becomes a really digestible, easy, taste like meat type of substitute. So you could do it that way. And that's why I love walnuts. They're just a really great substitute. They're packed with protein, they give you energy, they have omega-3s, I mean, how could you go wrong? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my same measuring cup. Let me grab my food processor cup here. And in the food processor, I have my blade already in, okay? I'm gonna do a cup of walnuts. I remember, I'm not soaking these walnuts. I'm just putting it right in here. Everybody has their own method. I made this a million times and it comes out perfect every single time. So, right in the food processor. A half of a yellow onion, right in the food processor. You know what? Let's cut that down. That looks a little thick to me. Let's cut it down because the walnuts blend really quickly. So, that will just make it easier to blend. Three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna pop this over here just so we can see a little bit better. And you can come in closer. Half of a red bell pepper, half of green bell pepper. Oop. All right, that's half of green bell pepper. And I'm also gonna place, let me just grab. I probably should have prepared for that part. I just remembered one other thing. Let's grab the liquid aminos and liquid smoke and some olive oil. Let me just run to the pantry real quick. I guess I thought I was prepared, right? Not too prepared. All right, let's get some oil in here. And I'm eyeballing that, okay? That looks like about two tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna actually use, instead of salt, I did pull salt, but liquid aminos is so much better. It just tastes, it has more depth, so it just tastes so much better. And I'm putting about a tablespoon of liquid aminos in there. Liquid smoke to give it a nice smoky flavor. And some black pepper. All right, and this is that container, guys, that you know I hate. If you've been watching my last three videos, you know how much I'm fighting with Trader Joe's because I hate this new container that they have. It just takes longer. I could have been done this already. All right, so we got that in there. That's how easy that is. We're gonna close this up. And let's go over here. I'm gonna pop it right on the 
base and we're gonna blend it probably for about 20 seconds because we don't want the, the um, walnuts to get too mushy. I still like when it has a little texture, but once you start to make this recipe, you will have a preference for how you want it, whether you want it more, um, you know, have a little more texture if you like it more smooth. I do like a little bit of texture with the uh, walnuts in the sauce, so that's why I'm gonna just do it for maybe about 20 seconds. But like I said, as you start to do it, you'll kind of get the hang of what you want. Here we go. So I stopped at 10 seconds just to scrape down the sides because I wanna make sure all the pieces get blended. And we're gonna go for another 10 seconds. Okay, I'm all done. Let me walk it over here and you can come in close so you can see what it looks like. Let me pop out a little blender, use my knife so you can see. I want you to see what it looks like. It kind of looks like ground turkey. It's really blended out, all the seasonings are there. This is the perfect substitute for ground meat. So guys, don't be like skeeved out about walnuts. It actually has no taste and it only has the flavor of what you season it with, but it's packed with nutrients, protein. It's just really, really, a really good substitute, all right? So I'm gonna leave this here. I have a nice big skillet warming up over here. Now, in this skillet, this is such a super easy recipe. We're just gonna add some grapeseed oil, okay? I added like two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. All right, and let me grab a, oh, we could use the same thing that we got this out of the blender. All right, come in close so you can see. I'm not sure if I'm on the, the right side. Maybe we should switch sides. You could get on this side so we can see. So everybody could see better. All right, here we go. Popping it in the pan. And we're just gonna, it doesn't have to brown up. I just like to get some heat go, going through. There's no browning to do. You know, it's not meat, so we just wanna get the oil going through it, kind of release some of the oils from the walnuts. Just kind of um, release it. the onions a bit, cook the onions, the peppers, just a little bit before we add sauce. So we're gonna leave that just to cook maybe about one or two minutes. And let me go grab the marinara sauce. Okay, I probably should have opened this ahead of time, but let's see if all that working out worked. It worked, I got it open. All right, so one to two minutes. Let me check on the pasta. That should be coming along just right. Let's, let's just squeeze one of them and see. Ah, uh, almost, almost, it's almost ready. All right, so let that cook a couple of minutes and then we're gonna put in the pasta sauce. All right guys, come on in. About two minutes have passed and this is what it looks like. And I love using like spatulas like this because I get to like scrape the sides down. But see, it doesn't brown, but all the flavor is now incorporated with the water. Let me turn this down a little bit. It was on medium, so I turned it to medium low. In this, I'm gonna add nutritional yeast. Again, nutritional yeast is a powder that us plant-based vegans love because it adds a nice cheesy flavor to anything that you make. Sometimes it just adds a nice flavor. It's not even that cheesy. And I'm just gonna blend it all up. So now it's incorporated with my walnuts. Okay. To this, I'm gonna add this whole bottle of marinara sauce. Let me turn that down a little bit. I don't want anything splashing, and then I start looking crazy. And just stir to incorporate everything. There we go. We're gonna let this now cook for maybe about five minutes. And again, when I say cook, I really mean just kind of incorporate all the flavors because guys, it is really cooked already. You know, we're really just kind of heating it through. Like I said, I don't like being in the kitchen hours and hours. That makes no sense to me. My meals have to be quick, simple, and easy. And when I tell you this is quick, simple, and easy, if guests were to come over, 
like at the door and I didn't expect them, this is the easiest meal that you can pull together that feeds a whole lot of people and it's absolutely delicious. And nobody will ever know there's no beef in it, believe me. If you don't mention it, they'll never know. They'll never know. Okay, we're gonna let that incorporate for five minutes. Let's check on the pasta. That should be ready by now. Let's check it. It's all nice and fluffy and plump. I think 10 minutes have gone. Let's check that. Ooh, it is hot. Oh, it's cooked. It's perfectly cooked. Okay. Let me get my gloves. Because y'all not going to try to laugh at me for burning myself like I always do. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's get my gloves and a colander. Got it. Let me place this in the sink. Okay, that's secure. And drain off the water. All right. What is drained? You know what? Where am I going? I'm going to pop this right back in here so I could use it when I go over to my pot. All right, this is still cooking. It's still coming along. Let me grab a spoon because I just want to taste it to make sure all the flavors that I love is still in this pot. All right, let's see. It's good. The only thing I think we need to cut a little bit of is that strong tomato sauce. So let me grab some maple syrup. <laughs> And we're gonna do about a tablespoon of maple syrup. I'm gonna eyeball it, guys. Okay. That will cut down. Oh, look what just happened. Oh no. I guess I need an apron. Could that be a hint to start selling aprons? Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew that would happen. That's why I didn't want them bubbling up. Well, another white. Um, wife beater bites the dust, right? <laughs> and you know, guys, um, I got that comment from someone. They said, I know you wear those, those white tank tops to be sexy. No, it's because it's hot as hell in the kitchen. I don't wear um, an apron and everything becomes a mess. So these are just cheap. They're easy. I could just toss them and, you know, wear another one. So I have a whole lot of these. It's not to be sexy, it's to be comfortable. But that did just give me an idea that maybe I need to start, yeah, maybe I should need to start marketing, right? All right, let's taste this. That is perfect. That's what I like. So that cuts down, but you know, it depends on your personal preference. If you like that strong tomato flavor, Go ahead and leave it just like that. But for me, I don't know if it's just, I don't know, the way I grew up, I didn't grow up with tomato sauce. So for me, that is just too strong. I needed just a little bit of sugar to cut it. But it's been about five minutes. It's in perfect, perfect where it needs to be. So now we're just gonna put the pasta in. Let me get my gloves. And you know what? I gotta go back in the fridge. But you know what? Let me put the pasta in first. Let's get that all acclimated into the sauce before we run into the refrigerator for the cheese. All right, put the pasta in. This is just such a perfect meal. This is for all my um, kitchen cuties who hit me up and are always asking, what can I feed my kids? I would love to transition them to being vegan or just to eat more plant-based meals, you know, not totally going vegan. This is one of them. This is one of those recipes they will not know they will eat it just like everything else, but you know it still has tons of nutrition in there for their growing bodies from the walnuts, and you know there it's not there's no meat. Look at that. That is just beautiful. It's just soaking up all of the sauce, coming close so you can see. So while that soaks up the sauce, let me grab the cheddar cheese. All right, so I got the cheese from the refrigerator, and I'm using the plant-based cheddar style from Whole Foods. All right, let's put your desired amount. If you don't like a lot of cheese, don't put a lot of cheese. If you like, love a lot of cheese, go ahead. Put all of, this was a brand new bag. So 
I'm using about a half of the bag. All right, and then I'm just gonna slowly combine the cheese in with the pasta so the cheese can melt. That is it, guys. That's all you need to do. Can you believe it? That's it. So we just incorporate this so the heat can melt that cheese and then you're gonna get a cheesy, cheesy goodness. I'm gonna plate it up so I can taste it and just like that, this dinner is done, okay? Give me a second, let me get it all together and get everything cleaned up and I'm gonna come back and taste it for you guys. All right, let's move this big baby over here so you can really get a good look at it. The cheese have melted. Look at that. You hear that? Mm-hmm. That is cheesy goodness. There's no hard walnuts in here. This is delicious. Now, what's nice about this sauce is that you can use this sauce for so many things, right? So you don't just have to use it only for macaroni. You could use it for spaghetti. You can use it for lasagna. You can use it, sometimes I like it with orzo and just add like other vegetables like peas and stuff like that. This is just a really good sauce. Macaroni is just easy for everybody to identify, so that's why I use macaroni. But this sauce is just amazing. Make it your own. You can even add spinach. I've added spinach to um, the, 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 the pasta that I've done. I've added uh, arugula. You can add arugula to it if you wanted to add some greens. So make it your own. But this is absolutely easy, as you can see. Very limited ingredients, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna taste it for you guys. It's not that super hot, so I should be able to get away with tasting it now. So let me just get a little bit on the plate, just so I can space it out and get some air going through it. Still, it's a little hot, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I don't think I'll burn my mouth. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, mm -hmm. This is so, this is better than what I used to eat meat. Okay, so this is the thing. The walnuts become creamy when you blend them. So this is so creamy. It's cheesy, but you still get that that sauce. Mm. It's like hamburger helper, but better without all that cheese. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. But this is really, really, really good. I'm gonna finish it before I finish talking. Sorry guys, it's just that good. Mm -hmm. All right, I know I'm being greedy. Mm. Let me do it. Oh my God. So guys, let me swallow it. We've done another recipe. Thank you guys for visiting me in my vegan kitchen. I'm still trying to chew and swallow. Thanks again guys for visiting me in my vegan kitchen. Again, we did another super easy recipe. I hope you guys try this one. I made this just for all the mommies out there with the babies that you know need to transition and you just want to have something that seems familiar, this is it right here. Again, guys, if you like this platform, don't forget to subscribe down below and join me again for another delicious recipe in my vegan kitchen. Bye, guys. I know it's been greedy. <laughs>